he said we can go back and talk about how we have to we got a little rowdy there he was like we have to fucking get the um psychiatry testing done on anybody who is wanting to get a gun or apply for a gun right and he says in semi-automatics anything of that nature needs to be completely illegalized right i agree i think that that's absolutely 100 percent right um I mean, we won't be able to stop what we won't be able to stop. Like, people will get things illegally, but at least you got to give it a good try, you know? He says, here's where we need to start acting like a country, a united nation, and every state pass the same law. There needs to be something that is above state law in this case, so it can't be toted across lines. Right. And... um and get everything blurred, get the laws blurred. Right. You asked before what was the spiritual meaning of it. Yeah. He says it's not just about learning, you know, how to come together and cherish every moment. You know, it's not to make people paranoid. This is not to install a fear for some sense of need for survival, like to be afraid helps you survive. Right. No. He's like, this is seriously about paying attention to the freedoms that you're allowing. And he goes, come on. He was waiting for Dylan to jump on that one. Oh, wow. um, uh, okay. Because you want to live in the land of the free, right? Free, freedom of choice, freedom of everything, freedom, freedom, freedom. But when there's not a 100% understanding that the freedom comes with the care and the health and the well-being of the people who exist around you, then what are you really doing? Right. Right. I agree. I agree 100%. Because it's even like um, the cops and everything. There's just not enough paid attention to mental illness. Because no one knows about the brain. No one true the last frontier griffin said right <laughs> right it's like the brain is the last thing that we look at as humans yeah pretty much you got your <laughs> i can't do it you got your blankie baby yeah <laughs> oh, he's just making noises Mine's all kept in one piece, not a million little shreds. Like Griffin's was. I treat my blankets nice. A little extra nice sometimes. But... <laughs> um, oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you know what? There's times where I just want to skip over some of the things that you say. <laughs> but he's so quick to give visuals. You know, so it's hanging right here, and it's like, oh, scamper away. Just don't do you stop. So it's like, ah. that's so wrong. Anyway. <laughs> that's fucked up. It sounds so much fun to be dead, Griff. It really does. <laughs> you really get to mess with a lot of people. Right? For real. For real. He goes, Mom, you're not going to ask the question of why didn't this dead stop this dude from shooting? No. Because you know the answer? Why? Ask. Answer it. Because we, it's, I don't know. I'm not quite sure why. You, because it's free will, I guess. I don't know why. Because it's free will. And because we don't have the same sense of judgment that you have on that side. What you're seeing is bad or good. We're not seeing it as bad or good. We're seeing it as a part of the story unfolding. Right. Right. Is that what you say about Adolf, too? Yep. Part of the story unfolding. Giving humans the right to stand up. Giving them the situations of boundaries. Giving them the situation of survival. Now that is a free country. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't want a free country. <laughs> Can we reevaluate re -evaluate that maybe it could be just a half free? Half free. Three quarters freedom, United States of America. 
<laughs> right? Um, okay, so we're gonna jump on another heated Wait, topic. So what do you do? And you I'm more a... scared of Dylan than than you guys. Go ahead. What do you do? What? All right. So what do you do then? It's like you're saying you have to understand about your laws and like the way that people can, you know, act within those laws. Okay. What do you do? Do you put a chip in everyone's brain that tells you when they snap? Like, I mean. Oh, hell no. No, but you provide a society that supports health and well-being. You. Okay. Yeah. But like. He cusses more when you're around. You know that? It's so funny. He was like, you fucking work people. That's so easy to say, but if you go out and like in the world, it's so like hard to actually do. Like no one's going to buy that. No one. Right. He says, because you see yourself going out there and being a part of the world like a working ant. I'm talking about the structures higher than that that need to change. He was like, everybody's expected to go out there and go to school as long as they can. Go into debt and going into school and then making a success out of yourself because money is way more fucking important than your own happiness. You know, and then you work so many hours that you don't even know who you are when you wake up. One day you wake up and you're like, do I even really like that? You know, and then you have a mental midlife crisis and a breakdown. He goes, where's the point where starting in elementary school that we teach you how to talk about your feelings? We teach you how to take care of yourself. We teach you what are the real priorities, like taking care of other people. <laughs> he likes this. Shit. He likes this. But it needs to start from the bottom up. No, no, no. Like the fact that like it does start from the bottom, but it never goes anywhere after that. Like it just stops. In kindergarten, it stops. In first grade, it just stops. Talking about your feelings. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you get pushed into the system of behaving. And, 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 exactly. More of a behavioral stance on, te on teaching. And like. I remember <laughs> Griffin and Dylan had teachers that would meet them at the door when they were little. I don't know if you remember, Dilly, but would say each kid, they'd meet at the door. So you got to tell them what happened last night. Like, I lost my tooth. Or, you know what I mean? And we, he's right. We stopped that at a certain age. We stopped checking because in. You like, become an adult. Adult. like the kids never stop being an asshole every year. So like, why not? Right. What would have happened to this dude who just blew up that concert if he was loved past kindergarten? Would he have ever have done it? His dad was on the most wanted FBI what if left told list. He was a good painter. I mean, you know. Right. It's true though. We could have gone a whole different direction. I mean, if we're drawing radicals here. So it all comes back to love, Griffin. Yes, but keeping it in the society, having the ones governing the systems see that they need to implement it sooner. You know, like, let's stop. Like, of course, we need mathematics and English and bilingual and, and history and science and all that shit. But what we really need to do is learn ourselves first. You know, how do we use this thing that we have you know, make that top priority at school and then learn everything around it or as we are learning about love, love and self-care self and wellness. wellness. So do the higher-ups know that this is the way it should be and they're just not? Or... Because the system's set up in a way where that makes society do that for maybe a day or two or a marathon run and then they have to go back to real life. Right. Ding, 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 ding. I keep hearing bells. Yeah, because situations like this right. right. bring us together. Because we're like, oh, we love you. We pray for you. We'll help you. We'll stand in line and give blood. But then after a few weeks, we forget about it. It's in the back of our mind. And we go back to being that worker bee again. Will you go back to being a worker bee, Mom, because the structure that's laid out in front of you won't let you quit your job to be a humanitarian because you have to have the money to feed your family and take care of yourself. It's a trap. And the higher-ups know it. Yes, <laughs> he thinks so. It's a trap because the higher-ups know it because if they keep you in need, then they have control over you. They can market you their stuff. God forbid if they ever empower you to be equals because then they would be less of whatever they're judging themselves to be. Right. Is there anywhere in the world that, like, does that? Is there any better place in the world that's not set up quite like America, Griff? Swiss. That wasn't quite my question, but. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was your question? <laughs> so you're making fun of. You're just making fun of mom, you asshole. So that wasn't my question. But. Oh, Swiss. Swiss. Oh, really? 
Switzerland? Yes. Really? So there are higher prices right. than America. Say that again? There are much happier places than America? Wow. Oh, oh yeah. God forbid. America is more of a grind, Griff? Yeah. It is. And they keep you that way because there's masses of people here and we need to keep them in control. Just like, do you remember our, our lovely President Trump? Oh God, here we go. Don't get Bill started. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Who made the statement <laughs> that they needed the immigrants to do, to do the jobs the Americans didn't want to do. Okay. Suggesting that Americans were above the care of garbage and the cleanliness of buildings and yard work because that's how our lovely President, President Trump. Trump sees it. <laughs> he says, I want to beg to differ. You know, we are not beneath it, but because our structure says, ah, if we tell the people they can be whatever they want to be and really mean it, the stuff that I don't like probably won't get done because I would never do it. But he says there are so many different people out there. There are some who really enjoy being the person to keep everything clean, collecting the garbage. They're proud of their jobs. They're great drivers. They're great taxi drivers. They're great at cleaning toilets. You know, they don't look at it as a shit job. It is the job that is providing them with the livelihood that they have and they care for it. Because why can't we build that kind of feeling inside of people? Right. Because the higher ups. Right. 